Ryzen's second generation CPUs have officially been announced, and Nvidia's GPP may have gotten the company in hot water. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. AMD has officially announced the Ryzen 2000 series and are currently taking pre-orders. That and Ryzen's first generation chips are at a great price, so you might consider those as well. I'll have them all linked in the description below with affiliate links, which helps the channel without costing you anything more. Moving on to specs, AMD's second generation Ryzen processors are pretty much exactly what the leaks said. There's four chips so far, two Ryzen 7 and two Ryzen 5 processors. The top tier CPU is the heavily leaked 2700X, which is an 8-core, 16-thread processor with 20 megabytes of L3 cache, and it comes with the new Wraith Prism cooler. The 2700X has a base clock of 3.7 GHz and a boost of 4.35. Now, before you get too excited, don't forget that the boost is on a single core only. So far, leaked reviews suggest that we should expect around a 4.2 to 4.3 GHz with overclocking on all cores, but I can't say for sure. We'll definitely have to wait for reviews first. The chip is currently on sale for $329 US. Next up is the Ryzen 7 2700, another 8-core 16-thread CPU with a TDP of 65 watts and 20 megabytes cache. It has a base clock of 3.2 GHz and a boost of 4.1. Since this should be like last generation, you can probably expect around the same frequency overclock as the 2700X, minus 100 or so MHz. Lastly, the 2700 comes with AMD's Wraith Spire LED and is priced at a respectable $299. Next is the top Ryzen 5 contender, the 2600X. This 6-core, 12-thread chip sports a whopping 19 megabytes of L3 cache and a TDP of 95 watts, and it comes with the Wraith Spire cooler. When it comes to clocks, the Ryzen 2600X doesn't pull punches with a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost of 4.25. The 2600X retails for just $229. Lastly, for AMD's first batch of Ryzen 2000 processors, the 2600 is also a 6-core 12-thread CPU with 19 megabytes of L3 cache and a TDP of 65 watts. It's got a base frequency of 3.4 GHz and a boost of 3.9. The Ryzen 5 2600 comes in at $200. Basically, these CPUs look to be some great price or performance chips at least for those who are some business content creation types with some pretty decent gaming performance. The final story in today's video is seemingly a bit of a rumor, though some of it really does appear to be true for now. It was originally posted on Hot Hardware, and it has to do with NVIDIA's GeForce Partner Program. For those who haven't heard, last month, Hard OCP broke the news that NVIDIA was requiring all third-party partners who joined the program to exclusively align their gaming brands with NVIDIA's GeForce. I didn't want to post anything until more was brought to light as NVIDIA wouldn't really comment on it. No third party manufacturer has come forward on the record, at least, to explain it. Well, unfortunately, that is still the case, so I can't 100% guarantee this to be accurate. But it does seem many companies are rebranding their gaming GPUs that aren't with NVIDIA, i.e. AMD. There's a couple different stories that go along with it as well, but what we have today is a possible pushback. According to the original report, NVIDIA has a number of incentives for companies to join the program, like discounts, marketing help, and others. Companies are also concerned NVIDIA would give partners stock priority, though it's not in the contract and NVIDIA does deny these claims. Basically, it's enough to get quite a few companies to join. Unfortunately, many of them are quite small, so they probably don't have much choice in the matter either way. This actually leads me to the updated story. Hard OCP has heard from, uh, unfortunately, unnamed sources that neither HP or Dell have signed the GPP contract. Not only that, but the author claims to have had off-the-record discussions that show both companies believe NVIDIA's GPP to be both unethical as well as possibly illegal. Why their team of lawyers can't find this out for sure is a little confusing, but regardless, this does make some sense because both HP and Dell are bigger companies and have the means to fight back more than most. Not only that, but Hard OCP also brings up Intel, who is apparently aware of the situation, and they suggest that the mammoth of a company may actually seek legal action. Unfortunately, this part does seem to be more speculation on what they think Intel is thinking, since they don't seem to mention having a source or anything along those lines. Either way, given the initial story is true, this could be a huge step forward in eliminating NVIDIA's grasp on the market. I think we'll just have to wait and see, though. In closing, I know tons of people are jumping to conclusions, but let's ensure we have all the facts first. 
And of course, companies are able to still sell AMD cards either way, but relinquishing the gaming branding, if that is what's happening, would ultimately hurt sales for AMD. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for AMD's new chips? And what do you think about all the rumors on NVIDIA? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.